Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. My dear brothers and sisters, peace be upon you. Today we gather to reflect upon one of the greatest miracles in human history, the preservation of the Holy Quran. Now as Muslims, we believe that the Quran is the final revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a complete, unaltered guide for humanity. Its message has remained unchanged for over 1,000 years. And this preservation is not only in history, fact, but also a testament to Allah's divine protection. Now, the Quran is a living miracle. We speak of miracles and we often think extraordinary events something that defies logic or even the laws of nature. But the Quran is a living miracle, one that transcends time, culture, circumstances as well. It was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, over 23 years in the Arabian Peninsula, a region where the art of oral transmission was highly valued. However, unlike other scriptures such as maybe the Holy Bible, the Quran was preserved in both writing and oral forms from the moment of its revelation. The words were immediately committed to memory as well as the companions of the Prophet and recorded also on parchments, stones and other materials that you can count. This dual method of preservation ensured that the Quran would be safeguarded for future generations in its purest form. Now the role of memorization of the Holy Quran is one of the most remarkable aspects of the Holy Quran is the tradition of its memorization, right? From the very beginning, thousands of men, women and children memorize the Holy Quran in its entirety. This tradition continues even today with millions of people around the world who can recite the entire Quran word for word and letter for letter. This isn't just a historical phenomenon. It's a living tradition that connects us to the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Each generation has passed down the Quran with meticulous care ensuring that a single verse, nor a single letter, has been altered or forgotten. Now this is the fulfillment of Allah's promise in Surah Al-Hijr, verse number 9 or ayah number 9. It says, Indeed it is we who sent down the Quran, and indeed we will be its guardian. Subhanallah. Now the role of the early companions was very remarkable. We cannot speak of the Quran's preservation without mentioning the efforts of the early companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. Now, after the death of the Prophet, the first Caliph, Abu Bakr al Siddiq, right? I think I said it right. Uh, um, Abu Bakr al Siddiq. If I said it right, if I said it wrong, please correct me in the comment section, right? He recognized the need to compile the Quran in a single book form. Under his leadership, Zaid ibn Tabit, right, one of the prophet's scribes, he was the writers of the Prophet Wasallam. he was tasked with gathering all the written fragments of the Holy Quran and verifying them with the memorized recitations of the companions. Now this process was done with extreme care ensuring that every verse was cross-checked and confirmed. This initial compilation was then passed down to subsequent caliphs leading to the standardized text that we have today as the Holy Quran. Now, under the Caliphate of Uthman ibn Affan, a significant event occurred that further ensured the Quran's uniformity. As Islam spread to different regions, Variations in pronunciation and dialect arose. Now, to prevent the confusion, Uthman commissioned several copies of the Holy Quran. In the 
Kurashi dialect, which was the dialect of the prophet as well. He spoke that language. Now these copies were sent to various provinces accompanied by reciters who taught the Quran exactly as it was revealed to the Prophet So this act unifying the recitation was crucial in maintaining the purity of the Holy Quran across the Muslim world. Now let us fast forward to our time, the Quran today. Despite the passing of centuries, the Quran remains exactly as it was revealed. This is something that even non-Muslim scholars have attested to. The manuscript copies of the Quran that exist today, some which date back to the time of the Caliph Uthman, the third Caliph Uthman, are identical to the Quran we recite today. So it has been preserved. No other regions or no other various powerful regions that had their own religions and their own religious texts in the world has been preserved in this kind of way. In an era where information can be distorted and manipulated or even lost, the Quran stands as a unique example of the divine preservation. Whether you are in Indonesia, whether you are in Morocco, Turkey, United States, where you open a copy of the Holy Quran, you are reading the same words that were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad over a thousand years ago. This uniformity is unparalleled. The divine protection. When we speak about the divine protection, why has the Quran been preserved so meticulously? This is the question you can ask yourself. The answer is very simple. Because it is eternal, it is an eternal word of Allah. The preservation of the Quran is not just a matter of human effort. It is a manifestation of Allah's promise to protect his final message. The Quran is more than just a book. It's a guide for life. It's a source of healing. It's a reminder of our purpose in this world and even the hereafter. In conclusion, this is what I'll say about the preservation of the Holy Quran. My dear brothers and sisters, the preservation of the Quran is not just historical, it's not just a historical achievement as well. It is a living miracle that we are a part of. We are entrusted with this divine guidance. It is our responsibility to continue and to pass it down even to the future generations with the same care that we have referenced from those before us. Now let us cherish the Quran not just as a preserved text, but as a source of light for our lives. Let us strive to embody the teachings, recite its verses, and most importantly, live by its message of peace, justice, as well as compassion. May Allah bless us with all the understanding, the love of the Quran. Amen.